hey guys welcome back to another video my name is ariel if you're new here be sure to like comment and subscribe if you're returning welcome back i really rocks with y'all so by that title as you can see today i will be giving you guys five ways to train yourself for godliness so this past week, I've been studying 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy. I've also been getting some revelation from these books at church from the pastor. I feel like I've gotten a major revelation from these books. So I definitely want to go ahead and share with you guys what I've learned. As always, be sure to read and study the books for yourself. And let me know what you were able to come up with from the scripture in the comment section down below. So let's get right into the video. So first off, I want to summarize kind of what 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy is about. So in 1 Timothy, the Apostle Paul is writing a letter to Timothy while he is in jail. Here he is giving Timothy instruction and guidance on the proper way to address any issues in the church, leadership, doctrinal purity, and false teachings. As Timothy is on his pastoral journey, Paul is using his prophetic gift to not only instruct Timothy, but to also encourage Timothy as we see more in 2 Timothy. So in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 through 8, Paul writes, Do not waste time arguing over godless ideals and old wives' tales. Instead, train yourself to be godly. Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. Promising benefits in this life and the life to come. So by this verse, we learn that godliness is not a natural characteristic or a personality trait. The definition of the word train, teach a person a particular skill or behavior through practice and instruction over a certain period of time. So this means that godliness is a skill or behavior and it is learned over a particular period of time. It is just not something that you automatically just get. It has to be learned and it takes time. So with that being said, how do we train for godliness? So the first way that we train for godliness is to read the scripture, study the scripture and understand the scripture. In multiple instances, the Bible is called the book of law or even the book of instruction. Joshua 8:34, Deuteronomy 28:61, Second Chronicles 17, just to name a few. This insinuates that the Bible literally provides us with the correct procedures and rules to live a godly life. Joshua 1 verse 8 states, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Basically, you can't live a godly life without reading the Bible. You just can't. So read the scripture, study the scripture, and understand the scripture. The second way to train yourself for godliness is to pray for others. In 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 2, Paul is urging Timothy to pray for the people. Paul tells Timothy to ask God to help them, to intercede on their behalf in prayer, and to give God thanks for them. In verse two, he says, pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness. So this lets us know that in order to live a godly life, we need to practice praying for others, interceding on their behalf and giving thanks for them. So let's go on to the third way to train yourself for godliness. So the third way to train yourself for godliness is to live a life in alignment with godliness. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 says, Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. This tells us that our lives need to be an example 
of godliness. We need to watch what we say, watch the type of conversations that we're having. Stay away from perverse talk. Stay away from gossip and arguing with others. We need to pay attention to the way that we're living, the way that we're treating people, the activities that we're engaging in. When you look at your lifestyle from the outside, when you look at your lifestyle holistically, is it an example of a godly life? If not, you've got some changes to make. So practice living a godly life. Now let's go on to the fourth way. So the fourth way to train yourself to live in godliness is to use your spiritual gifts. 1 Timothy 4 verses 14 through 15 say, Do not neglect the spiritual gift you received through the prophecy spoken over you when the elders of the church laid their hands on you. Give your complete attentions to these matters. Throw yourself into your task so that everyone will see your progress. This verse tells us that one, our gifts are important, and two, the use of our gifts displays our progress and our growth in godliness. So this means that not only do we need to use our gifts, we need to sharpen our craft and we need to give our time and our energy to what God has gifted us and called us to do. So don't put those gifts to waste use those gifts. Okay, so now we are on number five, the final way to train yourself for godliness. Endure suffering in faith. I know, I know it does not sound fun. It's not desirable and it's not very interesting. But the truth is as children of God, we will endure suffering. It says it throughout the entire Bible. It is not a secret. 2 Timothy 2 verses 11 through 13 says, If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are faithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. So just remember, you will endure suffering because Christ endures suffering. And suffering allows us to live like Jesus and live with Jesus. Therefore, we will live a godly life. So here you are. These are the five ways that you can train yourself for godliness. If you could add a sixth way to train yourself for godliness, what would it be? Comment down below. Well, I really hope this video blessed you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your family and your friends and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for all of the faith-based lifestyle content that I post. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.